Hello everybody, I'm Simon Matthews. Today we will be discussing the topic uh, Jacobian solved problems. This is a topic for uh, engineering math and also for undergraduate math students. For more videos on this type, you can access my page engineering math slash mathmadec.com. This video is primarily designed for undergraduate students learning multivariable calculus and for students of engineering mathematics. Do share the video if you find it useful. What is a Jacobian? If f is a function of n variables, the Jacobian or Jacobian determinant is the determinant obtained by taking the first order partial derivatives of f. And uh, this is mainly used in multivariable calculus. In this video, we will learn how to calculate the Jacobian for a function of two and three variables, to calculate the Jacobian of a function at a particular point, and to simplify and evaluate the Jacobian for implicit functions. If f is a function of u and v, where u and v are functions of x and y, then Jacobian of f will be del u by del x, del v by del x, that is a first column, del u by del y, del v by del y, that is a second column. So in the first column, we are taking partial derivative with respect to x. And in the second column, we are taking partial derivative with respect to y. We denote it by jf. If u, v, w are functions of x, y, z, where f is a function of u, v, w, then the Jacobian of f will be, the first column will be del u by del x, del v by del x, del w by del x. That is, the first column is partial derivative with respect to x. Second column is partial derivative with respect to y. Third column is partial derivative with respect to z. Coming to problems, find del Jacobian with of u, v, w with respect to x, y, z, where u is x squared plus y squared plus z squared, v is x, y plus y, z plus z, x, and w is x plus y plus z. So Jacobian will be the first column is partial derivative with respect to x. So del u by del x is 2x, del v by del x will be y plus z and del w by del z will be 1. Similarly, del u by del y is 2y, del v by del y will be x plus z, del w by del y is 1. And del u by del z is 2z, del v by del z is y plus z, del w by del z is 1. Now we do elementary row and column operations for a determinant. If we do c2 minus c1, c3 minus c1, we get 2x, the first column remains the same. Second column is 2y minus 2x, x minus y 0. And c3 minus c1 will give you 2z minus 2x, z x minus z 0. We can uh, expand it by the third row. So we get 2x into, we get 2y minus 2x into x minus z minus x minus y into 2z minus 2x. So these two are identical x minus z, x minus z, y minus x, x minus y. So when you simplify, you get 0. So the value of the Jacobian is 0. Coming to the next problem, u is x plus 3y squared, v is 4x squared yz, w is 2z squared minus xy. Calculate the Jacobian at 1 minus 1, 0. We first calculate the Jacobian. The first column is partial derivative with respect to x. So I get 1, 8xyz and minus y. Second column is partial derivative with respect to y. That is 6y, 4x squared z and minus x. Third column is partial derivative with respect to z, which is 0, 4x squared y and 4z. So now you can substitute x is 1, y is minus 1, 0. So we get this. And expanding, you get the value as 20. Coming to the third problem. Now, this is an implicit function. u plus v is e raised to x cos y. u minus v is e raised to x sin y. Find the Jacobian. So, first we calculate u and v. Adding the two equations, we get 2u equal to e raised to x cos x plus sin y. Or u is e raised to x by 2 cos y plus sin y. Subtracting, we get 2v equal to e raised to x cos y minus sin y or v is e raised to x by 2 cos y minus sin y. Calculating the Jacobian, first column is partial derivative with respect to x. So we get e raised to x by 2 cos y plus sin y. 
e raised to x by 2 cos y minus sin y. The second column is partial derivative with respect to y which is e raised to x by 2 minus sin y plus cos y and e raised to x by 2 minus sin y minus cos y. Expanding you get e raised to x into e raised to x that is e raised to 2x by 4 cos y plus sin y the whole squared because you get cos y plus sin y into minus sin y plus cos y. So the minus sign comes outside minus e raised to 2x by 4. This is same as cos y minus sin y the whole square. Expanding you get minus e raised to 2x by 4. This is cos y plus sin y the whole square and this is cos y minus sin y the whole square. So this is cos squared y plus sin squared y plus 2 sin y cos y. And the other one will be cos squared y plus sin squared y minus 2 sin y cos y. These two terms get cancelled and cos squared y plus sin squared y is 1. So you get minus e raised to 2x by 4 into 1 plus 1 that is 2 that is minus e raised to 2x by 2. I hope by the end of this presentation you have an idea how to calculate the Jacobian and evaluate it at specific points. If you find this video useful, do share it. For more videos on this type of uh, engineering math or undergraduate math, you can access my page engineeringmath/mathmadeeasy.co and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.